Hey, yo. You don't have to love me. You don't even have to like me. But you will respect me. You know why? Hey beauties, what's good? It's Bella Misia here. Welcome back to my channel. I'm here with another video to share 10 tips on how to achieve a super defined twist out every single time. So I like to start off with freshly washed damp hair. So just begin by moisturizing your hair with your favorite leave-in conditioner. I already went ahead and used Kinky Curly Not Today and gave myself a kind of deep side part in the shape of a C. So my first tip can be easily overlooked. It's just to make sure your nails are cut short and your rings are removed. If you have tips, make sure they're not chipped, okay? Because you don't want your hair getting caught in your nail and you're like dragging your hair out like it's honestly the worst. I can't even count how many times I almost teared my hair out of my head because my jewelry got caught in it or my hair got snagged on my nail while flat twisting. Let me know in the comments down below if this has happened to you. So my second tip would be to begin your twist on clean, wet, and moisturized hair. When your hair is damp, your hair strands tend to absorb the products a lot better and dry in the shape of the twist that you put them in. So when it comes to parts, it does not have to be perfect, but I like to make mine as close to straight as possible. Once you got your part to your liking, you want to start applying your first layer of moisture, which is water. Next, take in my favorite styler, Diva Curl Super Cream Coconut Styler, paired with my favorite hair gel, Argan Oil Eco Styler Gel. I work these two together to make sure I have a strong hold for my twist. So my third tip would be to use a strong curl enhancing hair product with a firm holding gel. This just ensures that you have a firm but flexible hold to make sure your twist styles last a long time. It's okay to mix it up until you find the perfect combination of products, but just make sure they both have firm and flexible holding properties. So to flat twist, just start off with two small sections of hair at the root and divide it in half. Then begin twisting your hair as tight and as close to the edge as possible. This makes sure you have a super defined curl, especially in those areas that you're more prone to frizz. As you can see, I'm kind of pulling on my twist as I'm twisting, just to make sure it's as tight as possible, because once you stop, it's gonna get loose. So just continue twisting both strands of hair, right over left, all the way down to the ends, adding more hair product as needed. If you're not familiar with flat twisting, it's just like a regular two strand twist. The only difference is you're adding additional hair from the scalp as you twist along. So as you work your way down, you wanna apply a little more product where you see fit, but especially on your ends. Since my twists are like medium big size, I like to use the purple and gray perm rods. If your hair is naturally curly all the way through, you can just twirl your hair around your fingers to create a little coil. But if you're transitioning like me, or you suffer from heat damage, you know it's a struggle to get your straight ends to do anything but lie straight. <laughs> so perm rods definitely come in handy when it comes to creating a curl pattern that will blend in with the rest of your hair. You basically want to fake it until you make it, and perm rods are great for that. So my next tip is to contemplate what size you want your curls to be. The size of your twist will determine the size and definition of your curls. For full, looser curls, try a chunky twist style in which you use bigger sections of hair for each twist. So that's probably about five to six flat twists around your whole entire head. It won't have that much definition, but overall it will stretch your hair tremendously. For smaller twists, which is probably around eight to 12 flat twists, it will give you more defined curls that will hold significantly longer. So today I decided to do seven flat twists, just so you guys can get a mixture of both so you're gonna be getting some springy, super defined curls mixed with some looser, wavier curls. So my next tip is to make sure that your hair is smooth and detangled because that's gonna ensure you get a defined twist out. For beginners, it can be easy to accidentally sweep a few strands of hair from one twisting strand to the other. I flat twist all the time and it still happens to me. So it's important to make sure your twisting strands remain separated as you wind them around each other. 
So my next tip is gonna be to use your fingers to separate each twisting strand as you flat twist, just to avoid a mess of confused twists during takedown. And I'll show you guys during takedown what happens when your twists aren't separated. So if you feel knots as you're twisting your hair, don't hesitate to grab a comb and smooth that baby out. So now that you're all done on one side, let's move on to the next. So once you're done, this is what you're left with. Shiny, moisturized, and chunky flat twists. Once I'm done with both sides, I like to grease my scalp with black seed castor oil. Then you're just going to secure these twists with a satin scarf, tie that bad boy up nice and tight, and you're ready for bed. So this is the very next day. As you can see, the makeup is on fleek. So yeah, once your style has set, just remove your satin scarf. Allow your style to dry completely before you take your twist down, just to reduce the chance of frizz and a failed twist out. And begin carefully removing your perm rods. Um, so if Birdman and Stevie J had a baby, I imagine they would be doing something like this. <laughs> anyway, moving right along. I can't tell y'all like how many times I pulled my twist out out before they were ready because I was in a rush. So it's important that you do not skip this tip. If you're pressed for time, just sit under a hooded dryer or a hair dryer attachment. Whatever you do, just make sure your twists are completely dry before you take them down. Once your hair is fully dry, just begin unraveling your twist starting from the bottom with lightly oiled fingers. I'm using grapeseed oil because my current favorite hair oil is out of stock on the Amazon website. Don't you hate when that happens and the oil is hard to find in the stores? Like, let me know down below what products you love that's always out of stock or hard to find. Like, the struggle is real out here. So this is what happens when you don't keep your hair strands separated when you flat twist. You have these little fine hair strands that kind of just don't make your curls look as defined as they should. Plus, they don't last as long as they should, and it just adds more frizz to the hairstyle, which personally, I don't mind the frizz, but if you want this hairstyle to last more than three days, just try to keep your hair strands separated when you do the flat twist. And remember, practice makes perfect. Okay, so before you start fretting over shrinkage, grab that pick and get to fluffing. Lifting your hair from the roots is a great way to add tons of volume instantly to your twist out. And what's a bomb twist out without a lot of volume? So that's basically what I'm doing here. I'm just using my fingers, you know, my pick. I'm just shaking it. I'm just trying to get my hair to where it needs to be. Because let's be honest, the bigger the hair, the better. And these are the results. Let me know what you guys think down below. I'm absolutely loving the shine, the definition, and the volume. Like, oh my god, my hair is so big, it's so soft, like, it's amazing. I hope these tips were able to help you guys on your next twist out. If you're new to my channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button on your way out. Don't forget to hit the little notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I post a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye beauties. Get you want some down, want some get, get you want some more down.